This will be my third trip to Kentucky, my second time hunting. I'm taking my son with me this time and we plan on having a ball. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Let's go. We are packed and ready to go. Can't see up in there, but it is jam packed. We no sooner parked the truck and spotted a deer. Ooh, the video on her. Mm. She just sat there and watched. These ain't Alabama deer. Alabama deer would have done took off. She's like, what are y'all doing up here? Probably think she's here. Well, let's, let's check these trees out see if any of these trees are hot just right in this one area okay right there's the gap the other side that's what they call snake pit these fields are so growed up if you were a deer getting down on a deer's level this is right here it's what you would see on a deer's level this is what you're looking at just high grass and brush and right here on this high hump out in the middle of this stuff deer beds you see the deer got it all watered out where they've been laying in a big old giant circle right here where i'm standing i'm gonna stand in a major deer, deer bed area so this high hump out in the middle of this field which is just about turned into a, like a crp field it's just everything out here is waist to chest high perfect habitat for deer this whole hump right here has deer bedding on it. I would bet anything in the world that, that hump over yonder's probably got deer bedding on it. And uh, about every hump you find in these fields probably gonna have deer bedding. Beat down trail coming in and out this wood line right here headed that creek crossing that we marked for uh, deer bedding. A lot of trails <laughs> coming straight into this. Pretty good deal. I'm thinking right in that back corner is where I sat last year in that one one tree right there in that back corner in that fork tree overlooking this and I had does all on that end of the field back when it was a field so I'm about 100 yards from that tree on this hump a lot of deer bedding right here last year these were all soybean fields but they did not get planted this year and we were running deer. I don't know if I got that on video or not, but there's a big old doe cutting out across there. We've been jumping does left and right in here. I didn't take 20 steps and spotted my boy coming out. She must have been right on the edge of the wood line there. Ah, just about 100 yards from there is more deer bedding habitat right in there. You can see the old grass water down here's the trail going in and out right here on the tree line so probably about every hundred yards or so they're gonna be deer bedding all out of there. there's deer bed right there boy got it watered out in there where that deer been laying so this grass all this high grass is deer bed over there man i'm just all in deer beds right here you see i'm waist high in this crap i don't know if i even want more deer bedding over there Just heard a deer running in the woods there. Must run it into the wood line there. These deer got it plowed down in here with deer bedding. Everything's really is about 60 to 70 yards from the tree line. Good night, a lot of the deer laying everywhere in this stuff. Just walking right through them. Major deer bed area. Well, I was I was kind of afraid of this. These fields growing up like this, and all these humps would have deer beds on them. I wasn't wrong. That's just what they do. They love this stuff. Instead of having one one briar patch to hunt, I got a hundred acres worth of this stuff now. They make hunting a lot tougher than I thought. Going to be hard. To, 
figure them out. Right here, scrape I saw last year, probably one thirty class working this scrape. And scrape branches, chin high to me, pretty high. Got video in the run out. A little bit though. Yeah, that's here. We just jumped Mama Doe. This little fawn stood up, and didn't really know what's going on. We stood, videoed her for a little while. Last year, when I came up here to Kentucky and hunted, all the fields were planted in soybeans. They usually rotate from soybeans to corn, but back and forth. This year, none of the fields in this whole area got planted in soybeans or corn. They just basically let all the fields grow up and high grass and bushes and really changed the dynamics of this place and made us have to scout it all over again and relocate. Of course, you need to scout every year different. Not every year is going to be the same uh, from one year to the next. Some places may stay pretty consistent, but it's always a good idea to scout. Can you look at that? You like it? Hey, the one I'm after. <laughs> like about six point, eight point maybe. Right. Small basket rack. Yeah. You see, he was bedded down in the middle of that field, wasn't he? Was. He was laying down right in the middle. We literally just come up on Mike and Buddy in his truck. I think he saw us and took off. Not gonna give us a ride back. I scound. Look at him going up through the yard. Look at him. There he goes. Just taking off leaving us. What do you think about that? That's a friend right there now. He's like, y'all can walk. <laughs> 